Hey guys, welcome back. So today I took a different turn. I was going to go into the video of that round table that Son of a Tech did with a bunch of other creators in the crypto sector. I had a whole bunch of notes that I, I took, time stamped it and everything. And I just decided that I didn't want to talk about that anymore. I'm still going to stay on focus. I'm still going to be talking about Chia, but in a different perspective, I was going to break down everything that they spoke about for that hour long conversation that they had. There was a lot of information in there, but it was information that we already know. There's nothing new in that video that I would say that stood out so much that I had to do another video on it. So I just said, you know what? scrap it so just stay with me on this one to me if we took that like button to the moon by holding it until it turns blue first things first i have 614 plots and farming right now i have it split out between my farmer and the two harvesters i actually retook what i was planning to do on h pool and took it back into self-farming on my own, solo, okay? Going forward right now, I'm not planning to my NVMEs. I'm not pushing out five hour plots. I'm pushing out maybe like 10 to 12 hour plots because I'm utilizing these old hard drives now. I'm not going crazy. Each day I'm probably averaging around six plots, maybe seven at most. It's a far cry from what I was pushing out earlier, maybe about 15 to like around 20. It was very consistent and very persistent. And But right now I think I'm taking a step back because usually what I do before I decide to do a specific video on Chia or for, you know, for YouTube specifically, I would type in Chia News, right? I did that on my phone and the first thing it showed me was a chia smoothie so i was a little confused and um and it might have been because i was looking for a juicer and lucky for me walking down the street i found someone threw out a brand not even throw out they they placed out a brand new juicer and i just took it and and i've been juicing since different kind of juice not not steroids it's actually like celery carrots and all right that's as off topic but that's what i did so maybe that's what google translated to chia and gave me this chia recipe for smoothies but there are other news on the chia realm and not so much of a good look for chia because it has to do with a lawsuit in uh, infringement of the name chia being used by someone and chia is out to kind of get them to retract that name that that was purchased i think it was called chia plotting or something like that can i can probably link the the details of it but that's not the scope of this video the scope of this video was pretty much i had all these notes for the, that round table discussion that son of a tech had not even go into it because it's things that we already know like i said just to get a better background of me and if in case you don't go back to all my older videos i have rental properties and i have and i do purchase other stocks other cryptocurrencies so if i was to rely solely on chia i would probably be dead in the water right now <laughs> in regards to chia right now it reminds me of this one property when i when i saw it it was amazing all right for the price and for the location everything had it going for it the house was in awesome condition and i paid you know my down payment and i purchased it now, I'm not living in it because it's a rental property. So I had a little cleanup and all that, which is fine. That was the small investment portion of it, right? I get a tenant for the entire year. Oh, wow. Like, wow, you know, the rental prices compared to how much I'm paying in the mortgage and I'm making each month, right? So awesome, okay? After all expenses, my return is on point. So fast forward to more recent, even last year when we had this whole situation, with people not being able to pay rent and there's no work it wasn't that bad and that wasn't even the cause of why my current tenants even after everything has been lifted everything is back to semi-normal it's not in the same state where i live it's in in indiana these recent tenants we had to take them to court we were about to evict them because you know the eviction had already been lifted and they just were I mean, in a sense they were taking advantage of the situation not everyone was that deep where they couldn't pay the rent or whatever I mean, landlords have to pay, you know, there's upkeeps to it. It wasn't just, you know, paying a mortgage. You have property taxes, you have insurance, you know, you have all these other fees that you have to pay that pay for the lawn care. They decided not to pay and we took them to court. And lo and behold, they came back the court decision that, you know, you can't not just not pay because of whatever's happening. You're still working, so you are getting money. So they ended up paying and they retroed all the old rent. Coming up now, 
the same tenants, so we didn't kick them out. The same tenants are not paying on time. Every month I'm going back to the property, man. It's like, what can we do about this? Why, why are we still settling for these this tenant when we're running into this situation every month? It kind of reminds me of Chia where it's sort of working, but not efficiently i hope you guys understand that association it's like it's not perfect and you know i put my money i put my work i put my efforts into this and my return has been like very spotty right so i'm not gonna say that i haven't gotten a, a total return but if it wasn't for that one chia that donation that i got yes it, it would be zero returns and i don't know how a lot of us would stay in this game if i took a different approach right now if i didn't commit like how i i'm committing to my property right now i could easily just sell it right so that will be equivalent to me selling the hard drives the rig or whatever that is associated with the whole chia thing right the old equipment that i had lying around like the old i7s i would probably just put them back in storage because those were i7 those were machines that i actually had a bunch of and i did sell throughout the course of time but now that they're getting older they're probably even worth a lot less it reminds me of this one property that i have that's just giving me issues and sometimes it'll just surprise me like you know we're gonna pay our rent this month so but hopefully i mean chia hasn't done that it hasn't given me any returns on the 614 plus that i have going on right now that's farming i mean a lot of you guys are backing off from this whole chia thing which is understandable i love when you guys comment and tell me that you know you don't think it's worth it anymore which i totally agree to some extent but at the same time for me my commitment has only been maybe going on two months now and to really expect a return in two months time you know it's asking for a lot but at the same time i understand where a lot of you are coming from where the the technicalities of chia and the company just doesn't make sense to you which is understandable because some of it does, still doesn't make any sense to me and i think that's why in that round table from son of a tech i think it was like five other four or five other people in this discussion they are all in agreement actually because none of them not one of them are fighting against being pro chia they're all um i, I don't know if i should say anti-chia but they're not they're not they're all on the same page of not seeing what chia and its potential is i don't disagree with them i don't see it right now either but sometimes it takes time right because like i said you know in the, in the past videos that amazon and microsoft and apple i mean apple was on the brink of bankruptcy it was going to lose everything at one point and tesla too now this whole tesla thing with elon i knew about tesla and i'm jumping off ta tangent right now i knew about tesla elon not creating tesla but more of putting in a stake and an investment into tesla which worked out for him really well he didn't create it it wasn't his it was these two gentlemen that had the idea and they basically you can say that they were forced out or they exited out on their own there are some some differences there between starting something that's yours and and just buying something and then turning it in sort of like ray Kroc, mcdonald's right it depends on how far these individuals take it so that leads me into bram how far can he take this without you know compromising the integrity the you know of chia um, and losing the core people that would invest in this which is us you know the our, our generation maybe the millennials and the gamers and the crypto guys if you can't get on board with the crypto guys who else are you catering to in in regards to chia so you know that's tough that's a tough thing to make i mean are, are you it almost sounds like because chia wants to get to that next level with the whole ipo i mean are you not looking at us anymore as far as crypto gamers and and hobbyists uh, but then you're going to look at you know chase citibank and td ameritrade and those financial institutions as your final core audience you know what i mean there's a little discrepancy i feel like there's between chia the company and what it's trying to do and it's it's eventually may take that cryptocurrency with them and cater to those guys opposed to more for us right because now everyone's questioning like hey this wasn't coming out as a sit at home kind of a, a farming plotting process this was this had every intentions of making it to the data centers for these big 
bowls to and and whales to do what they need to do that's my two cents unfortunately this video turned out a little different from what i anticipated when i took all these different notes and i was going to just dissect that whole one hour long video but it just came down to me wanting to tell you guys what i really thought about it i'm still up in the air i honestly can say if this wasn't for the whole me coming out on youtube and you know enjoying this portion of it probably would have stopped by now as well but because i already said 2025 i'm still going if chia lasts that long i'm still gonna go all right i want to thank you guys for being here appreciate it always please comment like and subscribe because it helps me and if it helps me i'm gonna put out more content and hopefully you guys can enjoy watching me as well all right thank you and see you guys again soon bye